Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to make a card and I'm going to case the card out of the new, just, um, it went live uh, May 2nd. Um, I'm going to case the card out of the annual catalog. Um, this is a collaboration that I partake in and this is the fifth installment, May 5th. So the fifth of every month, I will do um, a video, case of card, in any current Stampin' Up! catalog. This collab is hosted by Deb Houts Crafty Cottage. And there's a few other that, you know, that sometimes they participate, sometimes they don't. Um, I will have the link in the description so you can check out um, the other people who have taken part. And show their channel some love, you know, like, subscribe, share. And please do the same for me as well. So, new catalog. Um, the card I'm going to case is on page 101. And I only have one um, bundle out of this catalog. Um, and it is the Waves of Inspiration. And then the coordinating dies are the wave Waves dies. So that's kind of why I chose to case this card here. I've done similar cards. Um, I have other videos. I have done Facebook Lives using using the Wave stamp. So if you want to check that out, just check out my um, YouTube channel. But today we're going to case a card. We're casing this one. And I have my elements um, prepped and ready to go. And then I'll bring the, the catalog back in at the end. And we'll compare. So I have, um, I have a Knight and Navy card base. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Uh, a piece of basic white for the inside, four by five and a quarter. A strip of the designer series paper. Um, this DSP is the Waves, Waves of the Ocean designer series paper. Um, Last time I checked, it was still available in Canada, but it is going away. So if you want this paper, I highly recommend that you jump on and grab some. Um, it's just different colors on both sides. And they did the acrylic pour and took pictures of it. And it's really cool. It's beautiful paper. Um, I got two packs of it. Um, I live near the ocean and my ocean themed cards, you know, they always sell pretty well. Um, so, um, the second large rectangle, uh, we have rectangle dies in our annual catalog. So I cut out a rectangle in Pacific point and then the next size down, I cut out, um, the DSP. Um, I stamped and die cut two of the pelicans in Night and Navy ink. And then there's a, a die in the same stamp set. And I stamped Happy Birthday in Navy with Happy Birthday that comes from the same set. Okay. And then I took a uh, three quarters of an inch high piece of Pacific Point and I brought in my Banners Pick a Punch, which is also carrying over. And I just cut that down just a little bit longer than my sentiment, and that's gonna layer on top like that. So those are all my pieces. So let's get the inside of the card done first. And when I cut out my rectangle, it left stitching. So when I cut the strip of the excess, I decided to keep that, um, that stitching. I thought that would be a nice little element for the inside of my card. You could, we also have other, you know, um, sea-themed stamp sets. Some are leaving, some are carrying over, but you could stamp some seaweed in the background. I'm kind of going for more of a masculine look because I'm low for masculine birthday cards. I might do some Father's Day cards because that will be the next thing coming up is Father's Day. And I love these colors. 
together. Like this paper is just gorgeous. Because as of May 2nd, when the catalog launches, I have no active designer series paper in my stash at all. So I probably for a while will have to use retired paper because my quarter's paid for. I stocked up on card stocks that I was low on and ink refills. So you will see me for a while using probably retired stuff until I can get some new stuff. And I lost a lot of active bundles with this new launch as well. Um, some stuff carried over that I have, but I lost a lot of it, so I probably will be struggling for a little bit until I can put my next order in, which won't be until July. But that's okay, I'm here for inspiration and I just love stamping up so much that, I mean, I'm basically a hobby demonstrator. I don't have many customers, so. I will be using retired stuff from time to time. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on this edge of my Pelican. And I'm gonna overlap these guys and have one on top of the other. And just hold that in place for a minute or two. And then I'm gonna add dimensionals. Now this is this really is a quick and easy card, you guys. Like because there's no coloring in any images. Um, it's just stamp and die cut out, really. Okay, so I'm gonna grab, can I get one more regular size dimensional right here? I'm gonna grab, I need a new pack of minis. I just want to have some minis on like the pelican itself. I don't want any dimensionals like peeking out. And let's see. That looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm just going to take all these off. Yes, so we're, today is May 1st, so I'm filming this a couple of days in advance, trying to get ahead and getting my content back on my channel. I've been a little idle. Okay, so pop up my pelicans. And now I'm going to glue my sentiment to my specific point piece. Oops. And with the Tombow you have a little bit of wiggle room. And then I'm going to put a dimensional on each end and then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow in the middle because I'm going to overlap this on top of my pelicans. Okay, so bring my car back in here and I think I'm going to have this off the edge of the card a little bit and overlapped like to the edge of my card. And then I took um, the light Night Navy blend and I colored in some clear rhinestones and I did that earlier off camera. And I'm just going to add a few of these my card 
That's the one thing I like about the clear rhinestones is you can color them in. And I chose like to have a lot of the white near the bottom so that my pelicans will like stand out. And that is the card for this collab. And let me bring the catalog back. So that is the card that I cased. They did it a little different. Um, I'm not sure how they did the background. Um, it looks like they used maybe some watercolor paper and then they die cut out some birds with just part of this set. I wanted to use the pretty paper. Um, oh, it looks like I got a smudge right here. My glue eraser will take care of that. Okay, so that's the card. That's the inside. Similar, but just a little bit different. So use the catalog for inspiration. Um, I did another one earlier, the same, but I brought in the largest scalloped contour die. And then I used the second largest rectangle die. And you can see how nicely that pairs. And then I brought in the pastel pearls. There's kind of like a, a balmy blue. Um, so I added three of those. So two samples that I cased out of off this card in on page 101 of the new annual catalog that goes live tomorrow. But this video won't be uploaded until the 5th. And the same thing, I just put a little strip of the paper in here. This paper's gorgeous. It's still available in Canada. Get it while you can because it will not last. And each card will look different because the, of the paper being cut in different spots. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you follow me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.